A recent video started off as a nice relaxing gardening vlog, but it turns out that I'm allergic to fire ants. I found out after getting attacked by them. So I did a follow-up video where I attempted to destroy the ants and get rid of them, but I simply did not have the tools for the job and gave up. Which brings us to today. Okay, so I set this to 3.25. Oh, it smells so toxic. Oh my god, it's, it just hit me so hard. <coughs> oh my god. It smells like straight poison. I mean, I guess I did buy poison. Treat mound and area in four feet diameter around the mound. Apply one to two gallons of water over mound. It is impossible to eliminate risks associated with this product. User agrees to hold seller harmless to any claims. All right, so as a tester, we're gonna go do this part. Except I think I'm gonna move the fence first. There's ants around each of the stakes. Like I pull a stake up and it's just a bunch of ants inside. Here's one of the ant hooks. They're about to die. They're big old mommy too. Big old queen mommy. We've had a long day. The less poisonous one is still in the mail. Covers up to 10,000 square feet. I just want to cover this whole area. I don't know what 10,000 square feet is. Six months control. I am covered in flies. Oh my god. I forgot I have a a sprinkler thing, I guess. This is a little more efficient. I guess I'll just leave it going for like 10 minutes. It said like a gallon per, I don't know what it said, honestly. I tried to get it pretty far into the wood because it said to do like four meters around any anthills. Rest in peace, old garden. I salute you, even though you didn't do anything. I'm just slowly moving the sprinkler and look at this. They're actually flipping dead. They're all just like slowly dying. This is what I like. Look at the way they're moving. They're hurting. I don't even know if they have central nervous systems, but they feel it. Apparently that's what's gonna happen underground. Deaths to millions beneath my feet. All because of me. All because they couldn't get along with me. And they had to be poisoned. Slowly. Death is raining from above. Okay, so now I'm just working from the front of the property to the back until I run out of ant poison, basically. So let's see how far we get. I have like a third left, quarter left. I just came to let the chickens out <laughs> and I was like, what is going on in their food? I am pretty sure that... Are those ants? Did ants infiltrate? Yeah, well, okay, at least they're black ants. The, the cool ants. Yeah, oh, okay, here we go. You know what? I'm just gonna let the black ants do their thing. Oh, they're everywhere. In a recent video, I mentioned that um, some rodents got actually into the food. I started using buckets, I just haven't moved everything over. But I guess the little crack of air told ants that there was in fact food here. So I guess I'm now an ant breeder as well. But black ants, so. Oh, come on, they broke into the... Okay, the black ants suck. They broke into everything. They're eating the shrimp. I'm gonna have to just put everything in like thicker containers. Ants are ruining my life. All right, went to Home Depot. See, I'm trying to be like financially conservative right now, but that's not really working out. I got the cheapest little sealed tubs I could find. Um, so we've got shrimp, some little like chicken ball things, um, peanut butter for the mouse traps, And then I got these tinier buckets, which are the exact same price as the bigger buckets, but you know, I don't know why I got the tiny buckets. They're cute, I guess. So this is like completely filled with ants. So I don't want to waste all this. I mean, yeah, of course the health of the chickens comes first, but I think if I just mix in some, all right, it's, it's pronounced diatomaceous, I've been told. If I just put some diacotomous earth in it, that'll work, right? So while it didn't necessarily work, wait, what are those? Wait, these aren't ants, what is this? I have no idea what those are. What is happening? What What are all these? Whatever, you know what? 
I'm just gonna mix them in, see if it kills them. If not, I'll just throw away the feed, who cares? Let me mix it up. This is why we can't have nice things. EpiPen has been acquired. Two, in fact. Or wait. Oh yeah, I got a trainer and two injections. You just take out, you, you turn off the safety and you shoot yourself. And then get medical help. <laughs> Place your bets, everyone. Am I gonna have to use, I, I should, I'm gonna have to use it. I know I'm gonna have to. I don't want to, but let's be honest here. How soon am I gonna have to use one of these? I'm guessing before the end of the year. Hopefully not. We'll find out. So I went to put the chickens to let them out uh, this morning. Hello. And the screen on the back by the woods is ripped off. Like, it's not like it just came off. But it looks like something actually ripped through it. Which, I mean, all the chickens are fine. They were inside, but I don't know what that was. So I'm going to set up a ring camera in the chicken coop. It's about to rain. It's a couple days later uh, and the other poison is here and stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and use up the rest of this one. I'm gonna go over these garden beds one more time and then use the rest in the back because now there's ants in the coop and stuff. So I'm gonna do behind the coop as well. There's a lot of ants back here around the trailer. The cocktail of poison continues. I'm going to use this in the uh, garden area and I'm also going to use it in the bad areas. So there'll literally be poison on poison on poison because I'll add a third type as well. When did this fall over? Did you see any of that? Now I'm gonna treat, there's probably 50 hills in the front of the house, which I haven't done any treating, so. Ooh, what is this from? That looks really gross. I don't know what that's dripping from. It's a couple days later and it's time to set these out. And the beds are set. I ran out of liner, so yeah, it'll be an experiment. Does the liner make a difference? We'll get to see. Yeah, I mostly put it there for like weeds. I, I, I mean, it didn't stop ants last time, but. Now I'm gonna put a little bit of fossils on top. Uh, it's not gonna be raining anymore, finally. So, so it should be a bit more effective. Dirt is really heavy. So my mistake last time was putting up the fence before dumping the dirt, because I had to shovel it all by hand. So this should be easier. So the very first time I did raised garden beds, I didn't fill them enough. I filled them basically to the line but they settled and so it became like super squished down uh which it, it looked kind of weird i guess it doesn't really matter so this time i was like well maybe i should overfill them so that they settle but i might actually fill them to the line so that they do settle go under and then i'm adding a uh, straw on top to try and help with weeds and i don't remember what else straw does but i saw it in a self-sufficient me video so i'm gonna do it accidental herping if i can catch it Snake. This species is snake. Also known as Snakus snakus. I literally forgot what this species is called. DK's brown snake, maybe? Everyone always thinks they're baby copperheads. Go into my garden. He doesn't even care, he's not even running. He's chill.
some people said my allergic reaction was to mosquitoes because I have really weird bites. I don't think it is. We'll find out though, because I'm getting bit by mosquitoes. I normally don't listen to anything while working outside. I like to just experience the nature, but on like the 500th time I'm lifting the shovel, I need something to distract myself. I'm listening to Down the Rabbit Hole on Wings of Redemption right now, <laughs> which honestly makes me work harder when I hear about his life. So I think I'm going to move the rest of the dirt from the driveway just to this part of the cement because I kind of want my driveway to be clear. And then I'll use this to fill in holes around the property and um, like around the house. I can't really show that because I'd have to show the house, but there's a lot of like gaps and holes and weird areas that was just left like that from the last owner. Mosquitoes are everywhere. I don't want to put on bug spray. Oh, well, this will just be a test. Am I allergic to mosquitoes or ants? Gotcha. So I've gotten better at doing pilot holes. I used to be lazy and not do, use any pilot holes, which is just a pre-drilling a hole before putting a screw in. I've cracked enough wood now that I actually do pilot holes. Okay, these screws are the best. The wood screws with the star shape, they're like zinc or something. They're so, they feel so satisfying to put in. They've got this nice, I don't even know what that's called. If you ever want to send me something I really like and just make me really happy, just send me some of these screws. They'll go to good use. And relocation is almost complete. Yeah, I didn't really film putting the screen up, but honestly, you saw it in a previous vlog when I <laughs> built it the first time, so what's the difference? Uh, my staple gun broke, so I haven't actually finished stapling it. Uh, I just used some, like, some of these bad boys. I just gotta clean up this spot where the screen overlaps, and then I'm gonna put down straw. And it'll almost be time to plant some seeds, to sow some seeds. So one person in the comments said that I have an unusual reaction to mosquito bites. But this is just how it's always been for me, and I mean, it's never killed me. It makes my veins swell quite a bit, and I mean, they get these are smaller. I never really thought anything of it though, is this abnormal? But at least I can confirm that mosquitoes are not what puts me into a severe reaction, I guess. Here's the bug. I just hate the smell of this stupid bug spray. I feel like it gives me skin cancer. I don't look great. It's, it's mostly sweat and sunscreen, but I think I'm actually having a very mild reaction to the mosquitoes. Now last time when I had the, re the bad reaction, it was like 95% ants, 5%. It was like three mosquito bites because it was really hot and the sun was out and the mosquitoes usually don't come out until the sun starts to set. But I've been working. I've gotten zero ant bites, 100% mosquito bites and pr probably 15, not that many. Like I've been stung or been bitten way more times by mosquitoes, but um, my eyes itch a little bit, just barely. Like I probably wouldn't even notice it. You can actually see I got bit right there. Um, I, I wouldn't even notice my eyes itching if I wasn't hyper-focused on the symptoms and my head just very slightly itches. Like it's not that bad. Um, I'm having like the, the most minor chills. So it's like a super mild reaction. So I'm done for the day on the garden. Uh, now I just gotta mow the lawn, so I just put on long sleeves and I'll just do this. So now the only place mosquitoes can get me is here and I'll hear them.
it appears to be ant free over here. I mean, this dirt's filled with poison, so it's not like I can use it. Yeah, looks like the poison was all successful. Look at that. Did Mr. Little Herp Man win the war against ants after only one near-death experience? I think the answer might be yes.